What's up guys, Justin here, aka MHero25. So, I just wanted to do a quick deck update profile of my of my dino deck trying to top locals. So, um, there's not much of a change, but I did add a few things that really made the deck stand out and gave me more versatility. It didn't, too, didn't do too well this week, but I just wanted to share it with you. Maybe this could give you ideas, or maybe you can tell me what other things I could possibly add or take out to make the deck a bit more consistent. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So the standard stuff, we're doing 3 Oviraptor, 3 Misk, uh, my personal choice of 2 uh, UCT, 2 Pankratops, and then uh, 1 Giant Rex, and 1 Quatlis, followed by 1 Petite Pterodon, and 1 Baby Sarasaurus. Uh, we're running Hand Traps in this deck, so we're running 1 Ash Blossom, and then 1 Nibiru. Um, I'm only running 1 because I have 1, I'm trying to pick up 2 more, but you'd be surprised on how sparse it is in the... Jersey City and New York area to find them, so I'm probably going to order them. Uh, now, I'm adding, I uh, decided to add some cards in for extenders to try this out, and this is to get over the one card this deck has a big weakness to, which is uh, there can only be one. So the first one I wanted to try out was Nahada. This is a very um, old school card, old school play if you've seen my videos before, but it works out really well. Um, if you saw my video last week, I also played Grid Sweeper, which was great because this deck really doesn't rely on the field spell, but it does utilize it a lot so this is a great way to add on to it and then the newest addition was Link Slayer. Link Slayer was a card I decided to add in because I knew uh, the biggest problem with this deck is back row so Link Slayer if you don't know what it does allows you to special summon if you control no monsters so whether you are going first or second it's a good play and you can just either use it as a link material use it to blink uh, to pop off on the back row or um, they have to negate the negate the summon or the effect on it if it's that important so uh, against a lot of players, it caught them off guard, and that little bit of uh, surprise really ended up helping me out in the long run. So that's it for the monsters. For the spells, we're running three Lost World, three Fossil Dig, two Double Evolution Pill, two Cosmic Cyclone, two Foolish Burial Goods, one World Dino Wrestling, one Terraforming, and one Foolish Burial. And that's it for the main deck. Uh, not much has changed uh, besides the Link Slayer and adding back in the Nahata, but it really did well, and I'm still learning how to play the deck, but I'm also trying other experimentations, but this was really good, surprisingly. Uh, free the extra deck, two uh, Lagia, one Delka, one Tornado Dragon, one Gaga Cowboy, two Abyss Dweller, one Exiton Knight, which actually got me over so many boards. Um, one Super Dreadnought, uh, Gustav Max. I might take this out because I realized the deck has shifted so much where this might not be needed anymore. Uh, one IP Mascarina, Pentastag, uh, the Nightmare, Cerberus, Phoenix, and Unicorn. And then one Barlow Dragon. Now, for the side deck, this is actually very funny. It actually worked out. Almost all my cards had relevancy this week in uh, playing against my opponents. So, uh, the first one is the Tricky. This actually came up in relevancy where like someone was like, "Yo, you're just playing playing this for the for the gimmick, right?" Like, no, it actually had a purpose where I could dump Lost, uh, not Lost World, but World Dino Wrestling Quatlis or even Giant Rex into the grave, get a get a special summon, and then I'm like fueling my graveyard for more you know pushing plays. And they were like, "Yo, that's so smart." Uh, so that was it. Uh, we're running System Down for Orcus and uh, Sky Strikers. Uh, Broken Line. It's one of my fun tech cards. I really like this card. It's just a f if you know how to kind of like predict your opponents or if they have a very set way of playing where like I know one player in my locals has a has a problem where he always sits in the left uh, my left hand side of the extra monster zone. I just leave it there and then if he goes off I just stop where I know it's gonna hurt him the most. So yeah, that's a good that's a good card if you know what you're doing. Uh, 3D Barrier because this actually shuts down pendulums and a lot of other decks. And then 3 Mask of Restrict. Uh, well, that's it for now, guys. Sorry for the quick video, but I am on a crunched, uh, and on a tight schedule, but I just wanted to update you guys and let you know how it's going. And if you like the video, please leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you really like what I'm doing here, and don't forget to comment as well if you have any ideas. All right, well, that's it. This is Justin, a.k.a. MHero25, signing out. Peace.